All right, everyone. We're into the second half of Friday Night Fights. Um, we're going to see how this goes. I don't know if we're going to even get any more fights at this point. As you saw, we've been struggling tonight to even get uh, many or any matches. And the matches that i got gotten every time, the connection's pretty much been terrible. Uh, that's why we're retiring this game. Okay? That's really what, the whole reason why we're getting rid of it. Hopefully, Friday Night Fights will come back uh, at a future date. As long as there's a, a reason for it. For example... If there's another beta for Street Fighter 6, or if Street Fighter 6 is fully released, and we want to play this regularly, you know. But, at this point, this collection is so dead. Can you imagine what this is going to be like in another month? Like, seriously. <clears throat> Pretty bad. Here's a different player, Anaconda. Will they ready up? Apparently not. <laughs> How is it that we're playing this game? We're searching for matches, we find people, and they don't fucking ready up. Like, what the fuck are you doing? How do you not ready up for this, man? <laughs> oh my god. So dumb. Alright. Will we find matches? I don't know. I cannot play fight Kate. I've only explained to you guys a zillion times why I can't. You know, I'd like to upgrade my setup and be able to play on fight Kate. I can't afford it. Earlier this year, we were going to do... Uh, we had someone who was looking like they would donate. They Then they couldn't. Uh, I already explained to you guys. Because if I did a fundraiser to do it to raise money for a new PC, likely what would happen is my income would then dip for the next month and I can't afford that. You know, we're just in a situation where it, we're stuck. And there's nothing we can do about it, man. You know? It sucks. It's not a situation I like being in. But... We're stuck playing console games, you know? Uh, I realize that Fightcade... By the way, you guys, it's hilarious because you guys keep saying Fightcade. Fightcade is bad. Fightcade is very bad. Every, people on Fightcade cheat constantly. They all are using macros. They're all fucking doing try-hard shit to win. On Fightcade, it's not any better than this. It's just on Fightcade, there's more players. But there's more fucking, you know, people basically taking advantage of the whole insanely bad rollback netcode system. It's just as bad, if not fucking worse. I know, because I used to play... Before it was called Fightcade, I used to play on the last two versions of it. I forget what they were called. The original was GGPO, and it was its own emulator client, but then it was something else, and then it became Fightcade. All right? It's shit. It's literal shit. It's, it's just not good. Just because a million people play on it doesn't mean it's good. It's just because it's free. That's why they all play on it. Okay. Yeah, I don't care if Jay Wong likes it. It still sucks. I'm not stupid. <laughs> I don't care if fucking other people play it. First of all, Jay Wong is not an old school fighting game player. He started playing competitively in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Alright? Yes, he's played the old games. He is, does not play Super Turbo competitively. He picks old Saga. Alright? That's his character. So, you know, you're, you're comparing it to someone who... If you told me, did you know Alex Valle constantly plays Fightcade and does all this? He doesn't. You want to know what Valle does? He has an in-person fucking arcade he goes to. Because he knows that online is terrible. So he fucking plays in an arcade, you know? That's what the OGs do. They don't want to fucking play this shit online with lag and all kinds of issues. You know, it's bullshit. <laughs> the dumbest thing ever. Jay Wong. Jay Wong, who basically jumped into the scene way later than anyone playing the older games. He's an authority now on this. Okay. You will. You go ahead and you can believe whatever you want. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, I know. No one's playing this, man. No, I, like I said, my days my days of competitive Street Fighter are done. I have no desire to go to a tournament. I really don't. Like, Even if people have been like, but at EVO, they're having a throwback Super Turbo Tournament of Legends. Like, I, don't, I just don't care. I really don't give two shits about anything like that anymore. I just don't. I have no desire to play these games at a high tournament level, travel to tournaments and play in them. I just, it's the last thing I want to do. Every, like literally, I would I would walk into the art, to the tournament. I'd enjoy myself probably, if they had like a super turbo cabinet, I'd probably sit down and go through the rotation with everyone. I'd probably lose a bunch because I'm so rusty, but I'd still have fun. And every about an hour or two, i get completely bored. I'd be like, I wanna go, I wanna go do something else, you know? Just tired of it. I did it for so long and, you know, I, I, it's a grind. It's not a good lifestyle. It's just not. That lifestyle is not a good lifestyle, in my opinion. I lived it for a long time, and I did not like it. At the end of the day, it was like, <clears throat> it's not healthy. It's stressful. 
You're eating unhealthy food to try to wolf down shit between matches and stuff. You're fucking spending tons of money flying around for what? For fucking what? Who cares if you're the best fucking player one year? It doesn't even matter. <laughs> it just doesn't. You know? You've been, when you've been in that position, you know what I'm saying? When you've been to that position and you know, you see that really nothing comes of it. It's just like, whatever. It's not like it's, it's going to change my life if I'm a, a fucking, I won a tournament in Street Fighter. You know what I mean? Like, who cares? <clears throat> All right, let's see here. I got a tip. Haseo just sent me 40 bucks. Thank you so much, Haseo. He says, you know, just like Jax, I look forward to these Friday night streams. Sad to see that they're going to go away for a bit, but hopefully they'll come back. I'm looking forward to new releases that will take its place. Yeah, and there's a lot. There's a lot of new releases that we need to be playing in night streams to make any progress in now. Um, we're going to need the time for sure. Um, so that's a $40. That would be the $30 animation, which would be this guy. Which we haven't seen in a million years, actually. Thank you very much for the tip. With that, we are up to... God, that's scary. Over the $200 of tips. Thank you, guys, for supporting the season finale of Friday Night Fights. And again, I promise you Friday Night Fights will come back, whether it's retro games, whether it's a new game when it comes out. We will absolutely have Friday Night Fights come back at some point, okay? Cool. Here we go. All back. You know what? I really enjoyed playing Darkstalkers over these last three and a half months. I was happy that this collection had it because it allowed me to enjoy them again. I really do like these games. It's, it's sad that a lot of people have never really played them because they didn't really get a lot of prominent tournament play in the United States at all. It was always like a side tournament and never really a, a focus of tournament directors. I, and you also, do you like the art style and the music of this game? Like, seriously, isn't it good? The art style is so cool. It's like an anime, but it's also got some comedy aspects to it, similar to Street Fighter. I really like the art style of Darkstalkers. I always did. And again, I really wish that they had made a new one eventually. Unlike other fighting game properties, they really didn't have a reason not to make another Darkstalkers because they own all the rights to these characters. It's not like, oh, it's like, uh, you know, X-Men versus Street Fighter. They don't own the rights to the X-Men. No, they could actually make another Darkstalkers whenever they wanted. For whatever reason, they just opted not to. Hey, cool. The visuals are great. The music's great, right? The character design of all these monsters turned into fighting game characters is so cool. It's so original. I love it. No casuals would buy a new Darkstalker, says Gray Fox RJ. I disagree. It's, it's about marketing, dude. It's all, always been about marketing. Market it the right way. Make people feel like, you know, this game is, is a fucking... A cool way to play is the Hollywood fucking monsters. Release it in October for fucking Halloween. Like, geez, there's so many ways you can market this game and it would do well if you had a new one. They just don't want to put the effort in. That's what they like to look at look at Street Fighter. Street Fighter markets itself, right? But has Capcom put any effort into another fighting game in like 20 years? No, it's always just Street Fighter. That's all they care about. Because it just basically they don't want to put effort into the marketing at all. That was a 360 throw right there, by the way. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Can I just make a block?
super would have come out because that would have been a free super. Time ran out. Damn. Another tip, but I have to wait to shout it out. Do a set of three. That was two, right? Do a set of three. Okay. You shall more. Stabbed him his knee. The booty. out of the corner and he threw me out of the corner so that's good Come out, that sucks. That sucked because I had him, but he did the head ball. I was gonna punish it with a giant EX slash 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 and it move drop. Like, oh, I would have done like knocked him back into tons of damage. All right, that's enough of this guy. I got two tips to shout out. It was two to one, he, he won the last one, but I'm tired of playing. Um, all right, so five dollar tip from. I don't know because it doesn't say. It says, This being the season finale of Friday Night Fights, I want to say the series inspired me to dive deeper into fighting games and elevate my game. Every Friday, I have a chance to hear about new strategies, tactics, matchups, and it pushes me to play more. I've been here almost every Friday. I hope Friday Night Fights comes back soon. Thanks, Phil. You're welcome. Whoever that was, because I don't think they put a name to be called out. Thank you very much for the $5 tip. And uh, remember, this is not the end of fighting games. This is just the end of this game for now. Um, fighting games shall return after this busy gaming season. Maybe we'll do a few retro streams every now and again and see if we can get people to play. Uh, if not, then when Street Fighter VI comes out, I'm absolutely positively going to be bringing back fighting games, okay? And then, we have an $8 tip from this and that. Oh, that was you? Thank you, Big Papa Phil. If that was really you, thank you so much. I appreciate that. This and that did an $8 tip. He says, can I eat the eight ball? He wants to ask the eight ball if he's hypnotized. I appreciate the shout out from here and here on the podcast today. People are insane. Cue the copyright of hypnosis music. Oh, yeah. We're talking about the hypnosis shit from the podcast today. Go watch the podcast to understand what that's about. Anyway, here we go. So, Distant Down wants to know, is he being hypnotized by me? And that's why he's tipping. Let's find out. I'll look good. So, there you go. Distant Down, I'm very sorry that I used all my amazing psychic powers on you to get you to contribute to the stream tonight. I apologize wholeheartedly for that. Uh, hopefully, you'll be able to... To break out of my magic spell after the stream is over and uh, that way you know you get back to your normal life thank you very much for the tip as well here's your animation okay 
Jade says, I'm ready to play Street Fighter 6. Will you help me with the game when it comes out if I ask? Yes. Keep in mind, I'm going to have to play a lot of it to learn it. Because there's going to be so many new characters in there. There's going to be returning characters. Like, I don't think anyone has a clue how DJ is going to play. I'm interested in playing DJ. He's one of my favorite characters in Super Turbo. But, like, for example, when he was in Street Fighter 4, he played nothing like Street Fighter 2. So, there's going to be a lot of learning curve and a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff to go into that game so we can all figure out what it's what it's about but hey once i have knowledge of it if i feel like i can help you out I'll, I'll do my best okay thank you very much uh for that tip this and doubt that appreciate that this and that <laughs> Will there be another beta? I guarantee you there's going to be another Street Fighter 6 beta. I absolutely guarantee it. What they're probably doing is very wisely taking all the feedback they got from those surveys and watching people's streams and videos, and they're probably learning and changing and fixing and improving and rebalancing and stuff like that. And uh, <clears throat> I would guess they will probably have another beta. I'm going to guess by the end of the year or very early 2023 i think they will have a second beta now i don't know if that one will be an open beta or a second closed beta um i guess we'll see um and then after that i think they're gonna announce the game it's probably gonna be first quarter next year i think i think with the amount of the game that we've seen that already looks done and polished i can't imagine it not being ready first quarter next year so i think it's gonna be a relatively early year fighting game Uh, Rugal says, hopefully DJ's not trash like he was in Ultra Street Fighter 4. Yeah, he just was not good in Street Fighter 4 at all, right? Like, they just... He never was good. Um, they brought him in there, and at first he seemed like he would be good until you realize the properties of some of his moves were changed so badly. Like, remember, um, his up kicks were absolutely terrible unless you meter burned them. Only the EX version was worth using because then it would go and, and, and like, kind of levitate in place and hit many times. It would suck in like a vacuum. But the regular ones were completely worthless. They did nothing. They just whiffed. That's like, you put a move in the game with no invincibility. It doesn't do anything. It's just a waste of a move. Like, what the hell is that? He couldn't zone. He couldn't do anything. He couldn't be played, you know, like DJ, which was terrible. You know, the other thing is you got to remember, in Street Fighter 4 was when they introduced focus attacks. So pretty much a lot of people had a way around single fireballs. While in Super Turbo, there really is no way around those single fireballs unless you're a very mobile character. So he couldn't really zone. Like he can. It was kind of his zoning was incredibly nerfed in Street Fighter 4. In Street Fighter 6, I mean, yes, there's a parry system, but there's no like focus attack where you can like block the fireball and then move forward in advance right away, right? Like, well, I guess maybe there is, because you can parry and then you can do the dash cancel out of it, which I forget what they call it, dash advance or dash something. But, but wouldn't that take like a giant amount of your meter? See, I don't know. The thing is, we didn't get to, to test any of this stuff in the beta. So it's hard to really put your finger on what it's going to play like, you know? No, I didn't play DJ in Alpha 3 because he was not in the arcade version of Alpha 3. Keep in mind, I grew up in arcade. So if it was an arcade, I played it. If it was a home port, I usually didn't. And he was only in the home version of Alpha 3, which no one played competitively. Only the arcade version of Alpha 3 was ever played in tournaments. So essentially, he was kind of a bonus character you could mess with at home, but never played ever against a human. I literally only played him against the computer ever. So... Not that it mattered. Alpha 3 was a fucking broken mess anyway. You know, I hated that game. You guys know that from the 30th anniversary collection. Golden Trophy says, I'm glad Capcom got rid of down back, down forward, down back, up forward command because it was not intuitive. I mean, the reason they did it is because if you look at the motions <clears throat> in Super Turbo, that was the first fighting game to ever have super moves implemented. Okay? There's a game that basically invented it, introduced them. In Super Turbo, all of the super moves are just a doubled up motion of whatever the motion is for the normal move. So for Zangief spinning pile driver, instead of one circle, it's two. For Honda super headbutt, it's not one headbutt version, it's two. So for the super flash kick, down back, down forward, down back, up forward, essentially is like, oh, it's like a supercharged flash kick. It's like a doubled up version of the move, you see. So I understand why they did it. But it makes the move almost not viable at all to use in any kind of competitive play because it takes so long to come out. Essentially, any situation where you use super flash kick, you're probably better off just using a regular flash kick. It, it's better overall. So, <laughs> You're welcome, Jade. No problem. The thing is, again, Jade, I need to, I'm going to have to play a lot of Street Fighter 6 to learn it. 
um because i'm coming out of a situation where i haven't played any fighting game competitively in over a decade you know at least when i played street fighter 4 okay at least i had played games competitively only like a year or two before like i stopped playing super turbo competitively in 2007 and then street fighter 4 came out late 2008 early 2009 you know what i mean so i was only a year removed here at this point i have not really played competitive fighting games for 10 years i'm so out of the loop of modern competitive fighting games so it's gonna take a lot of effort but hopefully it'll pay off we'll see Rule says, I still play the 30th anniversary edition from time to time. That seeing, that, the seeing you play it opened my eyes is how broken the hitboxes are. It's insane. I mean, Rogue. Oh, you mean Alpha 3? Alpha 3 makes no sense. Alpha 3, like, the hitboxes in that game have no... They make no rhyme or reason. It's like, they just completely botched the whole fucking execution of it. And then, the the it's like that custom V-ism, right? Custom combo-ism. No one tested that shit. No one... You know no one tested it. Because it's so insanely broken. Well, I guys, I don't know if we're gonna get any more matches tonight. Let's uh, let's take a look here. We got about we have about a half an hour left on the stream, but it's not looking good for matches. Um, let's try casual. If that doesn't work, we'll look for a lobby again. If that doesn't work, what are you gonna do? This is this is exactly why we're retiring the game. I should come back to the 35th anniversary. This is the 35th anniversary. Yeah, this game it says 35th anniversary right on the title screen. <laughs> But you're saying 30th anniversary, Gray Fox. Why? The 30th anniversary edition was so broken. I mean, the fact that people could just join your lobby, troll, and break the game. Like, why would you want to ever play that ever again? That's that's insanely stupid, right? Yeah, and then, yeah, Rugal, I agree with you. Alpha 2, I think Alpha 2 is a really solid fighting game. There's still some unbalanced stuff in there. But for the most part, Alpha 2 became, like, a very high-level competitive game. And then, you know, I felt like Alpha 3 just kind of threw it all away, but for gimmicks. Oh, look at this flashy v combo I can do. Good for you, but does that make the game good because there's a combo that breaks it? You know what I mean? That's how everyone plays it, too. <clears throat> okay. Well, it's not looking good at all. <laughs> it's really not. I doubt there's a lobby when we look. It's the same lobby. He plays Street Fighter 2. If he's playing Street Fighter 2, I'll join it. Yeah. If he wants to play Street Fighter 2 in the lobby, I'll play it. That way, maybe I can play mid-tiers, because I don't think these guys are top-tier players or anything. I'll play mid-tiers against these guys. Paseo, here's how it's going to work. Next Friday... Since there's no Friday Night Fights, it's a double release day. Resident Evil 8, DLC, and Modern Warfare 2. So the way I see it is maybe during the daytime we play the, the story of Resident Evil 8, the night stream we do multiplayer of Modern Warfare 2. And then that Sunday we do, you know, we figure out what we want to do next. Do we want to keep going with the story of Resident Evil 8? I'm sure I'm not going to beat it in one session, unless it's really short, which we don't know. Um, do I want to do the multiplayer of Resident Evil 8? Because that's a multiplayer mode. At one point, are we going to play the campaign of Modern Warfare 2? You know, I don't know. Now... Future weeks, I, I would almost think that Fridays are going to be different because there's so many new games coming out that we're going to have to be alternating. And uh, I don't think there's going to be like a Friday night multiplayer. No, I don't think that's the case. I think it's going to be just you got to keep your schedule, uh, keep your eye on my schedule and, uh, and pay attention to it. And, you know, there will be uh, changing games around on Friday nights now. Uh, I don't see a reason to, to revisit Multiverses. I wasn't the reason that I stopped playing it. It was the viewers. Like I told you guys, I really liked Multiverses. I wanted to keep playing it. Absolutely, I did. Um, and I stopped playing it because uh, I couldn't consistently uh, get... Uh, I couldn't consistently... Uh, hold on, let me try this again. I'm, I'm having a brain fart because I, I was literally having two thoughts at once. I couldn't get people to come to the streams and enjoy. People, by the time that I stopped Multiverse, people were complaining every time I played it. They were like, man, this is boring. Man, stop playing it. Anything but Multiverses. And the thing is, I was loving it. I mean, Stripe was, was going to come out. And I was excited for Stripe. I had the Gremlin shirt and everything. And 
for whatever reason, people just didn't want to see it. Um, they, they After two months of me playing it, they got tired of it, which sucks. I put a lot of time into learning that game. I really did. I put a lot of time and effort into learning multiverses, and people just didn't want to see me play it anymore. So I stopped. I think what it is is there's different... Um, there's different kind of audiences, and there's an audience for Smash Brothers. I don't have that audience, so when I'm playing a game that's very similar to Smash Brothers, I basically don't have the people who are interested in that kind of fighting game watching my content, you know what I mean? There were a few, don't get me wrong, there were a few people, but not a lot. Okay. I did play PlayStation All-Stars, but it died. It died so fast. Is it gonna have me fight fucking Jose here, or is it them fighting? I'm so confused. Is this, so is this Raging Cosmonaut against x 12? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. We get to watch and commentate on their match here. It's so sad because look at this mode that no one ever uses, right? Whoever watches other people playing commentate in this game, no one. But it sucks, this is good. We're gonna have Super Turbo Dalsim against possibly Super Turbo T Hawk. Interesting fight. <clears throat> Overpower Boon says he feels it's the grinding nature of multiverses that killed it because I wasn't able to keep buying new characters. I'd keep grinding for coins. You, you may be right. You may be right. Cause I, you know, I'm only gonna spend money when it's free. But I hear you. Dalsim. So T Hawk basically has to stay at the range. He has to stay on Dalsim with moves that are going to either counter hit or trade so that Dalsim is going to always be at a disadvantage and then he has to try to kick throw. Dalsim needs to try to keep him away with his limbs and projectiles. If he gets in close, that's what's going to happen. See, if he gets in close, T-Hawk can counter hit him. No, that was bad. You can't do that. <laughs> Go go flame! And the legs. Nice super kick from T-Hawk. Wow, I'm actually surprised that chop hit. He, what I'd be doing with T-Hawk, I'd be doing jumping down first punch. It's so broken. And if it trades, it's always in T-Hawk's favor. Because the problem now is he's stuck at mid-range and he can't get in. And if he does the hawk dive in the air, Dalsim can just knock him back afterward. So, he can't really do much to get in on Dalsim besides maybe mid-range, like low fierce punch or jumping down fierce. And every once in a while, a jab to try to get closer. Mr. Dude, what do you think of the Modern Warfare 2 campaign? He says he's playing it. You see someone who knows how to play DJ. Can we get Minty Hawk or Purple Pit Bison? I actually, that was exactly what I was thinking. I was thinking this is the last hurrah for old school fighting games for a while, so I was going to pick Purple Pit Bison and try to get some wins. That's exactly what I was thinking. <clears throat> Mr. Deuce, the graphics look good so far. So far, it's not bad. He likes the campaign. Okay. Jumping medium punch with Hawk? I'm not aware how good it is. You know, I know for a fact with Old Hawk that you always want to go for Down Fierce because if he hits with Down Fierce in the air, it does insane, tremendous trade damage. It's just ridiculous how much damage he does in stun as well. It deals like a ridiculous amount of counter hit stun. Um, with New Hawk, I'm, I don't know. You might be right. Maybe with New Hawk, jumping medium punch is good. I actually don't know. Damn. Took the leg out. <laughs> oh my goodness, Spark says you got a new Switch OLED. Nintendo will not release a new Switch soon. People like to buy each model. Why do I think you sold 100 million units? Because people are Nintendo fanboys. It's just that simple. There's so many people who already had a Switch Model 1, and they went out and bought the OLED. It's like, now what do you, why did you need that for? Oh, I didn't. I just wanted the newest tech. It's just like Apple fans. Why do you need a new iPhone every year? You don't. But they fucking buy it anyway, because they're Apple fans, you know. Oh, we're talking about Old Hawk? Oh, okay. I, I always use Down Fierce with Old Hawk because it does such insane stun and counter hit damage, even if it trades. 
So I feel like that's the better move, but maybe you're right. Jason, this will be the first time he's going to attempt to play Street Fighter with Street Fighter 6. I hope it works for you with the accessibility features. I really hope they made it playable with the shortcuts and everything. Should be good, I hope. Keep in mind, I should say this, keep in mind, anyone who's thinking of playing Street Fighter 6 with those accessibility options, like the easy mode controls, you might not be able to play ranked. I'm not sure if you're limited in ranked or not. Or I think what people can do is they can set it so they don't play anyone who has the shortcuts. Um, Because there might be people who cheat. You know, there might be people who don't need the accessibility, and they fucking cheat to make it easy mode, which would be really messed up, actually. <clears throat> Tyrone, you got a crown. Congrats. You probably got gifted one from the insane bombs of crowns that were dropped recently. Um, you know, last couple of days here by Team Ico Gamer. So, I can't ready up for some reason. Here we go. Alright. Do it. I say we go for Purple Pimp Bison. Purple Pimp. Basson. The last run for Basson. <laughs> Let's do this. Time your jump. Oh, wow. He did a neutral standing roundhouse. I missed a few opportunities there. I was trying to lock him down with the standing, uh, the standing shorts, but he interrupted it every time. He had, he would not, none of that. He's like, you are not going to lock me down. Get away. <laughs> oh, I know. Overpower boons. I love seeing stages that were not in the anniversary collection. Exactly. The 30th anniversary collection only had like three stages. <laughs> Say I was loving the Playtale playthrough. Cannot wait for more. Sunday. Sunday the, the playthrough continues. I am excited for it. You think this is cheap? You think I shouldn't do this? You think this is kind of unfair? <laughs> Dude, it's unfair to do that. <clears throat> you win. I mean, yeah, it's pretty broken. The thing is, if you don't have a reversal, a good reversal, you can't really do anything about it. You just stuck. You fucked up. The best thing to do is just take a few of the kicks and then try to counter hit after you take a few of the kicks. So Jose, by the way, is the guy who never plays. But doesn't this just auto start? How does this work? Right? I... Does this just never... How does this work? I don't understand how the game works. Like, I can't... Look, spectate input delay. Like, how do I start the match? Maybe it doesn't work. Maybe Jose found a way to crash the lobbies in this one too. Right? Because it doesn't... Look, it doesn't start. Keep in mind, in the three and a half months I played this, I never did a lobby, so I don't even know how this works. I don't even see like look. There's no how do I start the match? Right?
Well, at least I've blocked him now. But I don't think we can, I don't think we can play, right? I can't kick him because it's not my lobby. If it, if I, I think it's this raging cosmonaut guy. I think he can kick him. But I can't. I can't. Look, he, the bash is just doesn't start. See you later, Tyro. Right? Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't seem to work. I don't know how that works. How do you not? How is it just frozen and not advancing? That doesn't even make sense, does it? Right? I don't know. I guess I'm out of here. The lobby's frozen. I'll leave. Hello, Slayer. Good evening. How are you, man? Good to see you. Let's see if we can get any final ranked batches before we adjourn. Hoi, yo, yo. Hoi, yo, yo. Guys, thank you all for your support of Friday Night Fights all along, all these years that I've done it. And thank you very much for your support of this final session until uh, it gets retired and basically might come back in the future, you know. All right, let's do uh, let's do Sasquatch again. Oh God, look at this connection. Are you for real? As soon as I got close, I was able to hit the whole thing went slow mo. Oh, am I supposed to play? This is impossible. I can't even move. I can't do anything, dude. Come on. I forgot she had that move. She has a, a missile that you charge down and then up. throw even though she was wide open i died i don't even know what happened because the animation wouldn't load to the lag oh my god i can't move i seriously can't move my character look oh my god Dude, the, the connection is getting worse the, i can't even move my character look i can't do anything what the fuck oh my lord Dude, how am I supposed to play this game right now? What? I was in the middle of a combo! I was in the middle of a combo, she jumped out of the combo because of the lag. just mashing yeah I can't do anything I can't block I can't react to anything she does look wow what a great player what an amazing top tier player with the best fucking connection I've ever seen what a dumb piece of shit <laughs> you fucking idiot why are you playing the game if that's your connection you're a fucking dunce <clears throat> no I'm not rematching you you suck good lord dude <clears throat> Unbelievable. Ugh. Good Slayer, I'm glad to hear that. I knew you were having problems with that video earlier. It actually upset me. Obviously, I want you to be able to have, you know, do what you want to do with the videos I make for you. I'm glad to hear that our solution fixed it. <clears throat> Are you fucking crazy? Get the fuck out of here. Okay. Well, last few attempts at a match here. Hopefully, we can get some. Hoi. 
I mean, we already played this guy, but I might as well. It's our last hurrah here. Slayer, yeah, as long as we know exactly what to cut out, um, as long as that's apparent, I could always do that if we have issues with copyright. That's right. No, this game is not good to buy. Do not buy it. You will not be playing anybody. <laughs> It was beautiful. Oh, yeah. I got him. Got him with a low kick. <laughs> Good night, Will. I'll see you tomorrow, man. <laughs> That was 360. <laughs> Caught me with that again. Did he a screen? Is it a grab? Go ahead, do that again. Oh boy. Oh yeah! Damn! That's so much damage. I wanted. I wanted to close, or, uh, file, or, uh, close line. I said close line. Then I almost said foul driver. I said close line again. <laughs> That's the wrong super. Did the wrong one. Oh, instant dizzy. Ah, oh, I got out of it. Nice. Air to air. Fred did a super chase. Is the daily grind of being a stay-at-home husband. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, unless you read. I mean, technically, I'm, I mean, I guess, yeah, I'm, I'm staying at home, but I'm working when I'm staying at home. I work from home. It's not like I'm just sitting at home doing doing nothing or raising a, a child or, or taking like I'm not, I'm not a house a homemaker. I'm working from home. So I guess technically I am a stay-at-home husband, right? <laughs> I guess I am. I didn't even think of it like that. I don't have to commute to work. I'm lucky enough. Oh dear. Look at this pig in the cloud. What the hell is that supposed to be? A fucking pig. Got him. Final. Atomic. Bosta! Ooh! <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh, you put my foot. Very rude.
Bite him! Bite Akuma! He has no chest hair, though. Don't worry, you don't have to floss with those chest hairs. He has none. Got him! Yes! Final! Atomic! Busta! Boom! Aerial throw! Right through it. Haha. <laughs> Counter. Got him. Very nice. Alright, so he's straight. I'm gonna see if I can play one more person. That'll be the last session here, the last match. See if we can get one more person. Alright, thank you, Fred, for that super chat. Alright, guys, what I'd like to say is, since this is gonna be essentially the last match in this collection, probably maybe ever. I mean, we might try to play it again in a bit, but we'll see. Uh, thank you for watching Classic Street Fighter all of these years. Keep in mind, I kept all of this uh, started back in 2017. With Ultra Street Fighter 2, and then went to the 30th anniversary collection, and then went to this for three and a half months. And I really appreciate you guys tuning in to Classic Street Fighter as long as you did. Um, it has to go on hiatus at this point. It may come back in the future, depending on how things go. Or maybe the next time we'll do this is Street Fighter 6. I guess we'll have to see. But thank you for being supportive, for watching. I, whenever I played these sessions, it felt like it was going back to the arcades. A big retro feeling for me of me growing up, being a teenager again. And being able to share my my <clears throat> knowledge of these classics with you, you know, chilling and enjoying, and, and you know, people asking questions about the characters, how the games are played, the lore of the characters. It's been so cool. The, the conversation we've had has been very, very good. Um, and that's why I've kept doing it for as long as I did. But after five years, I think we have to, maybe Street Fighter Six is the next time. We'll have to see, all right? So thank you to anyone who attended, supported, and just otherwise chilled and interacted here with Classic Street Fighter over the years. I promise you, this is not the end. At some point, we will do it again, okay? Exactly right, Rugal. It's just like, it's got, like you're going back in time. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like a time capsule. You're opening up the classics from the 90s, and you can see how the gameplay from the from the previous iterations of the games kind of went into, the, into the, the current ones, right? Slayer says he's going to be here for Disney Dreamlight Valley tomorrow. Sounds good. I'm excited for that. And then he says, uh, I see you reached 1,000 members. That's right. It was mostly Team Ico Gamer. Team Ico Gamer gifted, no exaggeration, like between 400 and 500 members in the last couple of days, which is tremendous. I mean, insane. So, so grateful for that. <clears throat> Can we get one final match? Jade, all right. He says, I'll see you tomorrow. Not sure what time I'm leaving. Hopefully, I'll see you during the daytime stream and have a good time. I remember you said you're going to that pumpkin patch, right? Cool. Cool. Have fun at the pumpkin patch. Huh. All right. Last match, if we can even get one. <clears throat> Slayer, yeah, of course this helps out with, with you know, things like the drops and membership that we got. Uh, of course, the thing is, out of these thousand members we currently have right now, how many will renew their memberships? Will there be? Like, like seriously, if there's like 500 members that just got gifted, which is pretty realistic, if we could get like 30 of those people to renew, that's still, still a huge gain, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's a good increase to help the channel. Even though it's artificial growth of people gift memberships, it becomes organic growth for those who enjoy those memberships and want to keep those going, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> that's exactly what happened on Twitch, you know. I started off with only like 300, 400 subs on Twitch, and then people started gifting them. And the next thing you know, I have seven, 800, and then after that, 100 keep it. So now I'm up to 500, and someone gift them again, then another 100 keep it, I'm up to 600, right? Pretty cool. So 1,031 is our, our record here. And uh, we are gonna see a dip because there was a member bomb uh, by email near the end of last month and that's gonna that's gonna expire. Ah! We get the place of Street Fighter 2 to end it. This is awesome. How appropriate, right? How appropriate. Who do I wanna use? He's gonna be with the Kuma. Yeah, we'll watch this. I never use Ryu. Literally never.
That was short Yuki. Wow. I couldn't get Shoryukens at all in the first round. They just did not come out. So I gotta try again. Sure. Nice combo! That was beautiful. Jump in, low medium, low roundhouse, and it all combo. Sweet. Couldn't block it. Never play with Ryu. I actually used to play with Ryu a lot in Super Turbo, and I just stopped after a while, and it went to all the other characters. Can't block on reaction. It's too laggy. That should have been a punish right there. Got him. Jumped right into it. Oh, God. Wrong move. I wanted to jab one. I pressed the rock off three by accident. Damn. You got blasted with the Tor Yugits. The power of the Tor Yugits. It's actually funny, because he said, it was defeat the power of Shang Long to stand a chance at his original win quote. It was a mistranslation of Shoryuken. He was saying he must defeat the Dragon Punch to stand a chance. All right. How appropriate that my final opponent is, is fucking Akuma. Destroyed in the corner. Very nice. The power of the Hadouken. Whoa. Ooh, oh, he blocked it. Son of a fuck face. Can't block, uh, block it on reaction. No sure you can. Shoot a hit. Didn't come out. Oh, oh, his beat mine. Ha, ah, he missed this time, just jump. Uh, his beat mine with voltage reversal Shoryuken. And they would have traded, except he has more visibility frames than mine and interrupted me. Here you go. That's right, it's a lore fight. It's definitely a lore fight. Well, thank you for liking the stream. Whoa, he went to World Warrior Ken. He changed to World Warrior Ken. Good lord. <laughs> Oopsie. Whoopsie doodle. Oh, 
Oh, my freaking sure Yuka didn't come out, so I didn't get a perfect. God damn it. It should have been a perfect. Wait a minute, he hit me once. Look at my health. He hit me once. It did 25% counter hit damage. Did you see that? Holy shit. That was one hit. Good God, man. No, I did not see Logitech has, has announced new streamer lights. He says maybe that'll help with white balance. Maybe it would. Damn, that's just a big throw range. That would show you can get fireball instead. Bye bye. Love these stages that we never get to see, right? Love it. Oh, you get <laughs> Damn. God damn. We hit the 100 likes goal. It's time for a bubble blow then. Celebratory bubble blow. There you go. Blast them with the tour you get. He went back to Akuma. <laughs> you gotta run to Akuma. Gotta run to Akuma. When you can't win the game, you gotta run to Akuma. You have no skills, don't know how to play. Run to Akuma every single day. I said run to Akuma. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Oh. Ooh, little, little kick, little kick. Mm -mm -mm. Run to Akuma, gotta run to Akuma. No fucking sure you can, man. No sure you can again. I can't get sure you can. I keep trying and I get jabs and stuff. Like, come on. Oh no, look at that counter hit damage! Can't block. Oh! <laughs> I love it. Yes. You thought you were going to win? I don't think so. I don't think so, bro. What a final set. This is always my favorite Ryu color, too. Champion Edition. No sure you can, huh? Twice. Wow. Three times the game didn't give me reversal sure you can. Three times in a row. No reversal sure you can. That's impressive. Can't block. Still can't block. Come on! Bullshit. I had him multiple times, and the moves wouldn't come out when I entered them, and then the super came out late. It's like, okay, dude. Wow, he won one match and gave him the super bronze. <laughs> one match got the super bronze. Look at that. All right. Um, hmm. Hmm.
Yes! Mm. Good night, Chantel. Wow, the green hand was there. It still hit me anyway. Wow, you can't you can't green hand a red fireball, I guess. That sucks. Wow! I did reversal spin and clothesline. He threw the clothesline. Okay. Got him. Woo! Tough fight for Zangief for sure. Tough fight for Zangief. All right, probably the last match. One or two last matches here. I love that. He's crouching, goes right into the spinning clothesline, destroys it. Boom. Oh, I interrupted it. I stuffed it. A beautiful, perfect. Ruined. Ruined. No, there's two more weeks of, uh, of fishing, probably. We'll see. There's definitely We're definitely doing it this Sunday night, but I don't know if we're going to do it another week after that or not. We'll see. Jade, I'll keep in mind, I'm going to keep playing the different characters throughout the, variety, the playthrough of Batman. Don't worry. Or Gotham. Don't worry. I'm going to mix it up. Yeah, look at that. It interrupts. If you do it on fight, you can interrupt the fireball. I was over, it still hit me. Yes. Yeah, look at that range, baby. Crazy range. to Akuma. Squish him. Squish him like the bug he is. <laughs> yes, very nice. Is that it? That might have been the last match. That's it. That's the last match of Friday Night Fights. A perfect against Akuma. You couldn't end it any better, huh? Alright, so guys, again, finally, to end the odyssey that has been Friday Night Fights. Keep in mind, I started doing this years and years ago. With Ultra Street Fighter 2 on the Switch, then it went to the Capcom Fighting Collection. Excuse me, the Capcom Anniversary Collection. Right? 30th Anniversary Collection for four years. And then I retired it to play this for about three and a half months. Sadly, this collection is pretty dead. Um, it was pretty fun. So, just to let everyone know, no, this is not the end of fighting games. It's kind of bittersweet, I know. Because... It's good to know, oh, I'm playing more new games. Oh, wow, you know, Street Fighter Six is right around the corner. But I know us playing classic games like this has been a really awesome feeling. And I appreciate anyone in the last five years who tuned in to me playing old school games. 
Uh, you know, it all started so many years ago when I was first making YouTube videos playing, uh, you know, Super, uh, Super, Super Street Fighter 2, uh, HD, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix. Remember that? That was a really cool way to get started. And, uh, you know, I had so much fun over the years playing this stuff with you guys and sharing my lore, sharing my knowledge of the games, all these story, arcade stories, tournament stories, and everything that I just shared with you every week when we play. Um, it really means something to me. And you know what? Here's what's going to happen. We're not going to do this for many weeks as I play all the new releases, and I'm going to start to crave it again. I know I am. So maybe we'll come back to it at some point. We'll see. But for now, this is it. And like I said, when Street Fighter Six comes out, as long as that's a game that I end up liking in the long term, which I hope it is, uh, you may see Friday Night Fights evolve into something where we play Street Fighter Six at least one or two times a week, maybe. You know what I mean? Like, it could definitely be something in the rotation. For now, though, that is it. And I want to say, again, special thanks to everyone who has supported Friday Night Fights. You know I got to give a very extra special thanks to Jax Raxer, who over the last couple of years, at least, has been here consistently supporting everything that I do with old school fighting games. He even said he's probably not going to be around for a bit, but he's going to come back for God of War Ragnarok, and we'll see him then. So, thank you all. Really. All right? I'll let you know when Friday Night Fights may come back, and or, you know, it's really also going to depend on Street Fighter Six and its release schedule of its beta and stuff like that. So, <clears throat> but pretty awesome, no? Pretty awesome time. I had a great time. I hope you guys had a great time with Friday Night Fights over these many years that we did it. And, uh, you know, until next time, whatever that may be. Like, like they say, this is goodbye for now, but not for good, right? It's just goodbye for now. We'll be back. We'll be back with more. It never dies. I always get the craving back, right? To go back to those 90s and play the classics. Or in my case, the 2000s, because I really played more Super Turbo in the 2000s than the 90s, right? All right, everyone. So that is it. Again, thank you so very much. DSP signing off for Friday Night Fights, the season finale. Until we begin it all again, thank you all very, very much.